Hello, Andrea, it's Laura Osnes. How are you? I just got your stage door request. I'm so excited to be answering your questions. Let's dive right in here. How is Lila and could you show her? Lila girl. She's hanging out right there. So she's so excited to be part of this video. <laughs> and she's uh, quite content. As you can see, she's doing a great job. We're having a lovely weekend together. Um, let's see, fave costume, favorite piece of jewelry. Favorite costume ever? It's very hard. I think I might have to say, I really liked Cinderella's gold off the shoulder dress that she went to the banquet in. I liked it because it was lightweight. It actually was uh, very easy to wear, very comfortable. But Cinderella's wedding dress is the one that like made me cry when I put it on. That was beyond. That was, I don't wanna like wear that every day. I don't, it's not like, oh, that's my favorite outfit. I wanna wear it all the time. But like, it was my favorite as in like, it had an emotional effect on me <laughs> and made me feel like a queen. Um, let's see, favorite theater villain you would wanna play? Ooh, I love that yours, Clyde. And I love that you are considering Clyde a villain, which I guess he kind of was. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like a, a good like villain a lot of the musicals I'm like a lot of the musicals I've done haven't really had like villains there's always like a conflict but never like a a straight up like the evil the evil one the bad guy I'm like Ursula and Little Mermaid I don't really want to play Ursula maybe like Miss Hannigan like that would be fun someday not yet but some, I still want to play Grace. I want to play Grace first. And then when I get a little older, like I think tackling Miss Hannigan would be, <laughs> that'd be really funny. <laughs> um, let's see. Favorite moment and song for Bonnie and Clyde. I really loved How About a Dance. Um, I, I think that was, that's the song that's really stuck with me. And I liked that, that moment. Um, I also liked the ending. I liked the dining so bad reprise. <laughs> Just getting to like, yeah, that moment. Um, what was it like getting to work with Jeremy Jordan? Obviously a, a dream, it was so great. What was so cool is that we were both like nobodies at that time, like I had just finished South Pacific and he had he was playing Tony two days a week in West Side Story. And like I remember I was with him when he booked Joyful Noise, that movie that he did with Kiki Palmer way back when. Um, and then to see his star rise from Smash and onward and other Broadway things into Newsies and so forth um, has just been, you know, so, so, so cool. And uh, I just, I remember being very inspired by his work ethic too. Like he was super smart and um, brought great ideas to the table. Um, he was always like a, let's fix this, let's figure it out. And it was always very easy to work with him from day one. We kind of had like an instant chemistry and obviously his voice is I think my favorite male voice on the planet. So made it very easy. <laughs> um, any new musical theater cast recordings you've discovered during the pandemic? I have to be honest, not really. I actually started listening to like other things during the pandemic and uh, I've been a musical theater nut my whole life. It's kind of all I listen to and uh, I've kind of shift, I kind of shifted away from listening to musical theater stuff during uh, the quarantine time. So if you have any ones that you've discovered, let me know. Um, modern musicals you would like to star in. Kathy in last five years. I mean, that would that would be fun to do once. I don't wanna do a long run of it because I think it's a big sing, but to do like a one night concert, I would be like, great, I would love to do that. <laughs> um, I would also, uh, let's see. I really wanted to do the Notebook musical. They were writing a Notebook musical. I had an audition for it right before COVID and then everything stopped and I didn't get, I didn't book it, but I'm like, oh, that would be fun. Waitress, I think would be really fun to do for a short period of time again. Um, yeah, that's, I think Waitress would be maybe the most contemporary one um, that I am still yearning to do. Besides going back to work and doing concerts again, what's one thing you're looking forward to being able to do once the pandemic is over? Um, I think like see, you know, see friends. Um, I, I think I miss, you know, I, you miss the people more so than even the work. I miss the, you know, my friends and getting to get into play with my friends. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, but all in good time. It's, it's really great. I've been able to keep in touch with a lot of the people who mean the most. And um, I think, and also find a purpose beyond 
just what I do and um, this and and Broadway you know is we've all been forced to find other things that um, bring us joy and and bring fulfillment and even provide income and something as practical as that so you know when I when I if if or when I get to go back to Broadway that's great um, but I'm I'm also just kind of taking it one day at a time and uh, looking forward to whatever is in store um, in the coming weeks and months as the world begins to recover and the arts begin to return. <laughs> um, thank you so much for checking in, Andrea. I hope this is helpful and um, take care, stay safe. We'll chat soon. Mwah.